I fell in love with hunting from a very young age. I can remember before I could even hunt, I would carry around a toy gun through the woods following someone in my family that was into hunting. And then over time, I just grew this passion for it and learned more from just doing stuff on my own and getting a lot of mentors along the way. What is up? I just hopped in the truck and I'm heading north to go track a buck in the snow. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I decided I want to be in the woods tracking deer. Super excited. Last year I did it for the first time. Killed a small eight pointer. He ran 10 yards. He's down right here. Oh my God. What a friggin'. I love tracking. That was so awesome. Look at him. Wow. And it just got me hooked. Hopefully I have just as much luck as last year, but if not, it's going to be a great time. It just snowed down here. It's supposed to snow a lot up north, so I'm gonna get on the road, maybe even catch a track this afternoon. So y'all stay tuned. I had four days to hunt. I left on a Wednesday. I was getting up there in the afternoon, so I was ready uh, just in case I came across a track going into camp. We have just hit dirt roads, and I wanna say there's like eight inches of snow on the roads, but there's plenty of tire tracks going down them. Uh, I'm gonna pull off here pretty soon, grab my rifle and some orange, just in case, and Hopefully, I can find a track on my way in. I just stumbled across a buck track and it is big and it looks fresh. Sure enough, it was mid afternoon. I just got done fueling up, hit the dirt road and I got down the dirt road a little ways and came across this fresh track. I'm going to park the truck and go after him. That's a nice buck. Well, I'm going to try and freshen this buck track up because I know it's within the past few hours and if he just bed down somewhere, I can catch up to him. It's a big track, so fingers are crossed. But here we go, day one of tracking.
I spent 25 minutes or so tracking him before I jumped him, so it wasn't very long. I jumped this buck and was able to stop him. I took my first shot, and after I took my first shot, he ran off. So I ran up to where I stopped him. There was no blood, and I wasn't sure if I hit him. So instead of following his track, I kind of went out and around to try and cut him off. And when I got back on his track, there was some drops of blood. I was pretty fired up at that point. I knew I hit him and I knew I could follow his track and keep up with him. So that's what I did. It wasn't very long after that, that I came up on him again, bedded down. So I just kind of crouched down, got my cameras ready, got my gun ready, and snuck up. It's right there. Oh my God, this is crazy. Thirty minutes into tracking we've got blood everywhere he was hit he was hurting and when I got up to where I shot him again there was a lot more blood spraying out of him so I kept tracking him but at this point I jumped him once more and then I pulled out on X <laughs> And at this point, he was headed back towards the road that my truck was parked on. So it was almost gonna work out perfect. Like this buck was headed towards the road. I knew if I kept pushing him that way, I might be able to shoot him like right beside the road. I kept chasing him. Sure enough, he bed down right beside the road. I must've jumped him out of his bed and then he bed down 40 yards off the road. And that's when Yes! Oh! That's a dead buck, baby. I'm walking down the road in my truck, son. Parked it less than an hour ago. This is why I love tracking. It just, it all worked out perfect. Like, I can't even believe it. Oh, man. It just doesn't get much better than that. And that is why I have fell in love with tracking. I can't do it any other way. I've just got to be tracking. So that was my hunt. Uh, Jacob. Yep. Yeah.